Today, Houston City Council approved $500,000 to keep the B-Cycle Rideshare Program afloat. That's until a new bike program is up and running. Adam Bennett explains. At its peak last year, B-Cycle had more than 150 stations like these. They've since closed all but 60 of them and raised rental rates. The nonprofit running B-Cycle says they started having trouble keeping up with operating costs during the pandemic. Sponsorships dried up and rental fees alone couldn't sustain the network. Today, city council members approved money to keep running Thank that reduced here. network and bring back as many suspended stations as possible until next summer. That's a Metro is expected to launch their own system. Without this funding right now, it works almost like mayor stopping the the bleeding because it's about the residents that need access and it's the residents that are using this and asking for us to do this. Some, somehow or another the model failed. E either we they're not charging enough or, or this or, or there's some problem here if it failed. Councilmember Kubosh was one of four members who voted no. Mayor Turner said he's still open to private sector funding or ideas to run a better business model. Most major bike share systems in the U.S. have corporate sponsorship. Tomorrow, Metro will vote on a multi-year $10.5 million contract with PBSC Urban Solutions. That vendor's equipment is used in bike share systems in New York, Chicago, and Washington, D.C., among other cities. Reporting in downtown Houston, Adam Bennett, KHU 11 News.